As we continue into transcription, there is one issue that is likely to come up. Uh, the distinction between the vowels ah, like hot, and aw, like log. Uh, these vowels are very similar uh, in their production. And they are contrastive in English. So the word cot uh, is different than the word caught. Cot is a small portable bed, and caught is the past tense of the verb to catch. This distinction, though, is lost in some dialects of American English. Uh, in the western part of the United States, these two words, caught and caught, are pronounced the same. The vowels ah and aw have merged. On the east coast, um, most dialects um, preserve this contrast, except in parts of New England. So what does that mean? It means that if you grew up in somewhere out west, you are likely to say cot and cot, both using the ah vowel, the low um, back uh, vowel. If you grew up in Boston, you're likely to use aw for both, caught and caught, as in, oh my god, Tom, did you see the socks? Um, that those are common, and also in parts of Canada, um, that's found too. Um, so, the question you can ask yourself, you can give yourself the hot dog test. You say hot dog, and you ask yourself, are the vowels in the two syllables the same or different? For me, hot dog are completely different vowels. And notice, I'm not saying hot dog. I'm not um, using sort of the diphthong version that's used in New York and New Jersey. Um, that's different. Um, and we can talk about that too later. Um, but so you look to see if these two vowels are the same, hot and dog. Um, a way to check yourself is by looking uh, in a mirror. Um, you can look to see ah, like hot. The mouth tends to be very open. Ah, hot. And dog, the jaw tends to drop. The sides of the mouth move in. We don't move them in. The sides just move in on their own. Daw, dog, with a little bit of rounding. Um, so that's one way you can check. Don't worry if you have to transcribe a word like log and you're not sure if it's going to be log or log. Both of those are acceptable in American English. Okay. Now, when you transcribe for yourself, when you transcribe for others, then you have to be able to hear and distinguish the two. Um, so you're going to want to practice this distinction. And I'll post a list of words that shows the, um, some, some minimal pairs to show you this contrast. I hope this is helpful.